Breaking news. Robert Murray with this free agent pitcher Nathan Eovaldi and the Rangers are in agreement on a contract according to sources familiar with the deal. Once again, the Rangers make a splash. A hard thrower reaching triple digits. Nathan Eovaldi, who's had some amazing moments throughout his time in Boston, not going back to the Red Sox, who clearly need more pitching. Their offseason continues to be confusing. The Rangers, who have clearly made a statement this winter to bolster their staff, getting Jacob DeGrom, Andrew Heaney, now adding Nathan Eovaldi. This is significant. Tom, what do you think of this news? Yeah, this is big. I mean, don't forget, they're going to have to give up a draft pick as well. He had a qualifying offer. Um, it's a great pickup. I mean, listen, Nathan, to me, is a complete pitcher. You mentioned the velo. He did have some issues last year. The velo was down a little bit. But to me, he has become a much better pitcher um, with the secondary stuff that he uses a lot more. And you talk about matches made in heaven. You know, he's from Alvin, Texas, which is the, obviously the hometown of Nolan Ryan, whose second career with the Rangers turned out to be spectacular. So I, I'm not saying he's going to be the next Nolan Ryan, but I remember Nathan telling me growing up in Alvin, Texas, you can go into any restaurant. There's Nolan Ryan pictures all over the place. That's this guy. And now he's going to follow in his footsteps wearing a Texas Rangers uniform. It's great. It, it, it's, it's awesome. You know, and this kid's worked so hard to get an opportunity like this, as you said, to come home. You know, this has got to feel really good for him. We're excited in baseball this happened. Hey, don't you think this puts them at least in the wild card hunt, oh, too? Oh, no Absolutely. doubt. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, take I'm, this I'm team for real about, now. The rotation is DeGrom. Then you throw this guy, Nathan Eovaldi, Martin Perez, who they held on to, decided not to trade away. He was extremely John good. Gray. John Gray and Andrew Heaney, whose K per nine went way through the roof, looked like a revelation. Uh, with the Dodgers, maybe he's a bullpen piece. I'm sure he wants to start. They have other options as well if they want to have a competition for that final spot in the five-man rotation. But this, to me, is a significant move that means the Rangers are in win-now mode. It also means there's protection against this group of young pitchers that are coming behind this group. They're not going to have to be forced into the big leagues because these guys are all established big league starters. Yes, I think it's win-now. But it's also with an eye on the group that's behind them. Kumar Rocker, Jack Leiter, former first rounders, Jim. Chris Young, a former big leaguer, taking over the front office of the Rangers. They did this in stages. They, they tried to bolster their lineup with Simeon and Seeger. And now they clearly had a void in the rotation. Do you think they have done a 10 out of 10 job in fixing that issue this offseason? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think when you bring baseball guys like Chris in and there is a game plan, but you're also patient and you don't just jump and make moves, you make the right moves. I think this is what's happened. And, you know, that's a great ballpark by the way oh it's gorgeous that is a great ballpark does the hometown thing play is that a, does that really matter a guy that's from that that place when he yeah. signs you think it does i do i do you know i had an opportunity to go back to chicago uh growing up in illinois it 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 revitalizes you as a player. Your, your tunnel vision, your focus gets even more crisp. And this guy's good. It's a good sign. 